When I started my work, for the first 25 years, I had a non-permanent position. I was with CNRS, the research agency, and they were until uh, 84, they were not permanent. Then we became permanent uh, uh, people, which has also its drawbacks. And um, I'm, it's, uh, I would say on a human, to be very frank, of course, on a human basis for many young people, having a permanent position uh, means that they can uh, raise their family, can do their science without being concerned all the time. Will I find enough uh, money to pay for the studies of my children and so on? I, that idea did not come uh, up to me, I must say, now that I <laughs> think of it on hind foot, because as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, I did not have a permanent position until 84. So, but it never was, a, I never felt under particular pressure because as I, um, I said, um, you have to be uh, you have to be confident to some extent. It's also an important point. We haven't discussed it yet, but it's important that you learn to become confident, confident in yourself, uh, and uh, strong uh, in yourself. So I I was not scared. We had difficulties, but I was not scared about that. So uh, for the system, it's of course always better to have a competition. It's like. Uh, bicycle uh, races, uh, races and so on. If you have competition, you will get the best person out. But the best person, what does the best person mean? It means the best person in that particular area, at that particular moment. But that doesn't mean that that person is the best person in every aspect. And you can have a very good scientists who do very nice work at a given moment and who will turn out not to be the best uh, lab rulers or best uh, or imaginative persons and so on. So you have to be careful. But still, uh, the system has to uh, hire people. We have to hire people. We were hired, we have to hire people now. And uh, so there has to be some sort of competition. And that's always, I always came from those, I have chaired such uh, uh, committees, recruitment committees for many, many years. And I always felt ill at ease afterwards because uh, there's so many, let me use the Latin name, imponderab imponderabilia. You understand that in, you must understand it in uh, Spanish, imponderabilia. You cannot measure correctly uh, at a given moment how this is going to turn out in 10 years, in 20 years, in a new context and so on. So it's always very, very difficult. So the uh, system of recruiting late is probably uh, a good system. It has proven it's affecting the United States.